Good morning, good afternoon, or good night, or whatever time it may be in your part of the world. My name is Mr. John Wayne, and I am a variety gamer. I play everything from the Fallout franchise all the way to the Soulsborne series. Welcome everybody to another episode of my Elden Ring walkthrough. I hope everybody's doing well. I know that I am. And today we are going to be finishing up a bunch of side content and Limgrave. And then we'll be done with Limgrave for a good while. But before we do any of that, like always, let's go ahead and look at what I did off camera. I didn't do much. I only changed out my poison bone arrows from fire arrows. I went ahead and I put on the Godric Knight set. If you don't have this, you can always farm it up over at the Gatefront Ruins by killing that knight. I also kept the Blood Grease on. And I went ahead and I put a Flask of Cerulean Tears back on. We're going to need that later. And that's all I did. So first things first, we're going to go to our map. We're going to come over here to the Limgrave Tower Bridge. We're going to head up these stairs. Grab the Bolt Drake Talisman. We're going to have to beat three guardian golems at the same time they're not too hard so don't be too nervous about it get some charged r2s be careful for the archer in the back We want to run over here to the left, try to get behind this pillar. That way he shoots the arrow at the pillar and not us. Once you get underneath him, he's not going to be able to hit you and you should be safe. Hopefully everybody's lucky and he drops his great boat. He did not drop one for us. We're going to come down over here. Grab ourselves a warming stone. We're going to go through that portal in a minute. But before we do, we want to hop down. We have a couple of items to grab down here. Grab the soft cotton. Then right here we get the Ash of War Scarab. You can put that on your head. It is a helmet. Each scarab does something different. Just kind of hop back up the best you can. Or you can always fast travel back to the grace and run back over here if you'd like. Let's go ahead and use the portal. I'll see everybody on the other side. Let's turn around. We're going to pull our bow out. We're going to take out some storm hawks. They shouldn't be too hard. Also, you can shoot all these eagles if you'd like for some flight pinions and four toed foul foots. We 
What is going on? There we go. Put our bow away. We don't need it. Get a silver pickled fowl foot. And then we get some Stormhawk feathers. Now we're going to backtrack, go through the big double doors. You can only open these doors, by the way, once you kill Godric the Grafted. So if you haven't killed him yet and you try to come through these doors, they're not going to open. Put our lantern on. Why not? Right? Why not? Step on the elevator. And then we have a, well, I wouldn't say long ride, but a decent ride up to the top. We'll light this grace. Grab our first great rune. Now we'll be able to equip that. It's Godric's great rune. Pretty awesome great rune in my opinion. And then we're going to follow this bridge straight down till we get to the Stormhill Shack. I'll see everybody there. We're going to talk to Roderica. A pleasure to see you. Did you give the little chrysalids the message? That I love them? And that despite my craven heart, I'm sure I'll be joining their club soon enough. What's this? A keepsake? From my men? Oh, goodness me. I can't... <laughs> they all... believed in me. They all thought I'd make something of myself. Me? Who can't do anything. I think I'll head to the round table hold. Perhaps I'll find my purpose there. Let's go into our map. We're going to put a marker over here at the Stormhill Everjail. We're going to be taking on the Crucible Knight in just a moment. But before we do, let's put a great rune on. Godric's Great Rune will raise all our attributes, every single last one of them, plus five. But the only way to be able to do that is to go into our inventory and use a Rune Arc. Now, I have a ton of Rune Arcs because I've been helping people online. I honestly had more than 64 Rune Arcs, but I sold some to help get some levels. Let's go ahead and use this, and we'll see our stats go up immensely. Also, another side note, if you die, all those stats will go back down to normal. So you'll have to use another rune arc to get the stats back. So keep that in mind. If you die, you have to use another rune arc. To activate the 
rune, the great rune. Let's get rid of this marker. Go inside the ever jail. We're going to drink our flask. Put on some blood grease. Thought I could roll away from that. Bloodhound's Fang is immensely powerful against this guy. Oh my goodness. I should not have said anything. We get the aspect of the Crucible tail. We're going to come back to our map, take this marker away here, and then we want to come over to Fort Height West. I'll see everybody over there. Let's go ahead and hop on Torrent. We're going to come up to the fort. Grab ourselves some Blood Rose. I'll be able to make some more Blood Grease later. Got a bunch of Demi-Humans here now. Because we took out the Godric soldiers over here. So Kenneth Height has employed these demi-humans. Let's go up to the top and talk to Kenneth Height. Height? Heights? I don't know. Whatever his last name is. Ah, you, is it? I suppose you must have seen it by now, yes. The sorry state of my fort, or oh, indeed it is a foul fate for a land to be without a ruler. One must be found, with haste, and not that awful Godric, but a true and stalwart lord of the proper lineage to take the reins of Limgrave. I am sorry to have lifted your hopes. But I haven't the authority to raise you to knighthood, as things stand. The great Kenneth Height issues his sincerest apology. But now, I must begin my search post-haste for a true and stalwart lord of the proper lineage to take the reins of Limgrave. Let's go to our map. We're going to come over to the Church of Pilgrimage. We go right behind the Church of Pilgrimage. We picked up a painting in the last episode. We can get this ghost. It's going to drop an item. We're going to pick up the Warhawk Ashes. Now that we got everything in Limgrave at the moment, let's go ahead and go over to the round table by hitting triangle, square, and then X. We 
we're going to come up to these doors. They're open now that we have killed Godric. We're going to talk to this finger-reading lady. Are you that new tarnished? You've done well. I am Enya, the finger-reader. I interpret the words of the fingers, envoys to the greater will. Look there. The fingers tremble to welcome you, Shardbearer. Let their wisdom wash over you. Great Elden Ring, root of the Golden Order, anchor of all lands, giver of grace, wellspring of all joy. Until it was shattered, the tragic corruption of the Order has taken its toll. Across the realm, life lies in ruin, fallen to pieces. Foul curses and misery spread, unabating. But the greater will has not abandoned the realm, nor the life that inhabits it. So it is that the tarnished are guided by grace, called to act, brave tarnished. Your great rune is a handsome shard of the Elden Ring. Seek another of its kind. To become Elden Lord and restore the Golden Order. Let the words of the fingers guide you. Well, well, I see. A remembrance of gold has found its way into your possession. Demigods and even the crater of the champions are hewn by the earth tree upon their end into remembrances. They are valuable indeed. These remembrances yet house the power of their former masters. And should you wish to wield that same power, well, I will lend you the strength of the fingers. Oh, do not recoil from my offer. The fingers guide us all. And you, tarnish. You are here to take, are you not? We can go to receive power of remembrance. Because we have the remembrance of the grafted, we can use this to get the grafted dragon, which if we do choose to grab this, we have to spend 2000 runes plus the remembrance that we have. If you want the ax of Godric, you're not going to have to spend any ruins, but you will still use the remembrance of the grafted. I'm not going to get either one of these. Feel free if you'd like. Let's go ahead and ask her about the great runes. Ah, great runes are the stuff of demigods. The children of the goddess, Queen Marika. She who is vessel of the Elden Ring. Tainted by the strength of their runes, her children warred, but none could become Elden Lord. And so grace was extended to your kind, the tarnished. Listen, the fingers speak. The greater will has long renounced the demigods. Tarnished, show no mercy. Have their heads, take all they have left. Indeed. But remember one thing. The demigods are each and all the direct offspring of Queen Marika. Godric the Grafted was but a distant relation. 
the runt of the litter, his divine blood sorely diluted. Now go forth. Let the words of the fingers guide you. Come over and touch the two fingers to get the rapture gesture. We're going to talk to Roderica. Greetings. Nice to see you again. My name is Roderica. I should have told you sooner. Isn't this place impressive though? The round table hold. Covert quarters of the two fingers. And gathering place of champions who vie to become Elden Lord. I never knew the guidance bestowed upon us tarnished had such fantastic roots. Although, it's all a bit much for me, in truth. I'm still looking for my own purpose. Oh, and please allow me to express my thanks for giving me that keepsake from my men. It was as if I was frozen with self-pity. I failed them at every turn. You have my gratitude. Please, take this. Let's grab another charge for our flask. And then we're going to talk to the blacksmith in here. We're going to be going back and forth from the blacksmith to Roderica. Now, look at you. Those eyes tell a story of a challenger who's felled his mark. Find him well. Now lay out your arms. The girl you bore here, she's crestfallen and can scarcely swing a blade. But she has a gift for spirit tuning. I saw another one like her long ago. Their eyes share the same hue. Pleasure to see you. Thank goodness you're safe. I'm still looking for my own purpose. It's not easy by any means, but it's what I must do. You're telling me I possess some kind of gift? I don't believe you. But if I do have this talent, and goodness knows it would be my first, I suppose I should try to hone it, shouldn't I? I'll ask Master Hugh to teach me. Certainly he does appear intimidating and holds no love for us tarnished. But I know he's trapped here at the round table hold. So I can tell. He's a gentle soul underneath it all. Head back to Hugh. Back already. No matter. Lay out your arms. The girl. What about her? Are you out of your mind? Who'd stay with an ugly brute who only knows how to smith? Absurd. Besides, she'd never agree to it. I refuse to believe it. I don't doubt you, but I know when something's too good to be true. Now we're going to go talk to Rogier. He is just over here. Ah, we meet again after all. I apologize for any offense given by my bearing. But I'm quite unable to move, you see. So, what do you need? Ah, 
You defeated Godric and claimed yourself a great rune. Hmm. Looks like we both got what we wanted out of Stormvale, didn't we? Well done, friend. Something to mark the occasion. Go on. Take it. As you might have guessed, I still can't move. My fighting days are behind me. No need to be polite. I've no use for it anymore. The misshapen corpse under Stormvale. That is a sacred relic of the Black Knives plot, as that famed night of assassination is known. It happened during the golden age of the Erd Tree, long before the shattering of the Elden Ring. Someone stole a fragment of the Rune of Death from Maleketh, the Black Blade, and on a bitter night, murdered Godwin the Golden. That was the first recorded death of a demigod in all history, and it became the catalyst. Soon, the Elden Ring was smashed, and thus sprang forth the war known as the Shattering. I once wished to become a scholar, you see. I've spent many an hour scouring the archives for knowledge of that fateful plot. The world has grown crooked, and if you intend to put it to rights, you'd better understand what happened to make it this way. Hmm? And that thing is to blame for the shape I'm in now. I urge the utmost caution. Don't disturb the corpse more than necessary. Ah, so you've met D. D is an old friend. We found ourselves journeying together for a time, bound by our exploration of death. But our paths have since diverged, never again to cross. Though that's hardly an uncommon fate for two friends. D was telling me that he discovered the mark of the centipede. The centipede is an ancient symbol of the curse mark. As long as whoever finds and uses it is not nefarious by nature, then we may be able to form an alliance. If only I could speak to them in person. And if they were like you, all the better. We're gonna hop down here, we're gonna get invaded. Before we do, I want to craft up a little bit more of this blood grease. We're gonna put that on. Hop over the balcony, drink our wondrous flask, and then run all the way to the back here. Pretty easy. He gives us the Taunter's Tongue. The Taunter's Tongue can be used to summon, in, well, not really summon them in, but allow people to invade you when you're playing online, even if you are in solo. As long as you have an online connection, people can invade you. Right here, we can get the Cypher Peta. Going to head over to this string of light and use it. Let's talk to D about Rogier. Ah, oh, hello there. What can I do for you? Are you acquainted with a man named Rogier? You know. The piteous fellow hiding away on the balcony. He was a formidable spellblade in times past. Don't let his easy air deceive you. He was wise beyond his years, stout of heart and clear of mind. No more though. You see him now, ravaged by thorns, muttering and rambling, like he's half dead already. I can't stomach to watch. Take well the lesson, friend. That's how you end up when seduced by those who live in death. When grace is sullied, it rots people from the inside. 
breaks them. We're going to head back over to Hugh. Divinity have mercy and grant me forgiveness. The road is yet long, a god is not easily felled. But one day without fail you will have your wish. So please grant me forgiveness, Queen Merica. Huh. You, is it? I didn't notice you there. I'll be doing my job, same as ever. Just lay out your arms. Those words were not meant for you. I may be prisoner to you, tarnished lot, but my prayers are mine, and mine alone. Well, I've had my say. I'll be more careful, too. I spoke with the girl. She has a gift for spirit tuning, so I told her everything I know. I'm indebted to a spirit tuner I met long ago. It was all I could do to honor her. I'm sorry I doubted you. Let's go ahead and level up some weapons. We're going to level up our Lord Sworn's Greatsword and our Claymore as well. And then our bow. And that'll be it. We'll talk to Roderica again. Notice that she doesn't have her crimson hood anymore. Good to see you again. Thank you very much. I have you to thank, don't I? For persuading Master Hugh. I can happily announce that he has taught me the noble toil of spirit tuning. I'm as yet unsure of what I might be able to accomplish. But if I might be able to help you all, I'd certainly like to try. And if there's any chance to ease the suffering of my dear men who were grafted, well, I certainly must try. Roderica, the spirit tune apprentice. Pleased to make your acquaintance. So right here, we can level up our spirit ashes. We're going to level up Banish Knight Ingville only once. I have a plan to level up a different Spirit Ash later. We'll level up the Lone Wolf Ashes. Let's go get a hug from Fia. I am pleased to see you again. Would you like me to hold you once more? Now, come closer. You are so very warm. My dear, have you ever heard of Black Knife Prince? Dear Roger, likes to talk of them when abed, and the ancient plot in which the first of the demigods was slain. The black knives wielded by the assassins who committed the act, along with the impressions they made, somehow hide the truth of the conspiracy. These grand affairs are hardly my forte, but dear Roger began to weep as he spoke. In truth, I've heard tell from someone else about the Black Knife prints that fascinate dear Roger so. But it wouldn't be right to give this to him, stuck as he is in the round table hold. Perhaps you could make use of it? We're going to use our Baldekin's Blessing to get rid of the debuff. And then if we go to our inventory 
and look just right here we can hit square and we can see a map this isn't going to be important to us just yet we'll have to get further into Liarnia before that will be useful let's talk to Gideon He's got quite a bit of dialogue, so I'm just going to shut up and let him talk. You've received the wisdom of the two fingers, have you not? Then, just as promised, I bid you welcome. As a true member of the Round Table, I am known as Gideon Ofnir. As a tarnished who wishes to stand before the Elden Ring and become Elden Lord, I am accumulating knowledge to be all-knowing. You now belong to a select group of fellows. As such, I ask that you remain constant. You'll be after more great runes now, eh? Then as your fellow, allow me to divulge a little knowledge. The inheritors of the great runes, the shard bearers. We of the round table know the location of five of them, including the one you defeated. Godric the Grafted, Lord of Stormvale. General Radan, who fought Melania and her rot to a standstill in the Caelid Wilds. Praetor Rykard, Lord of the Volcano Manor of Mount Gelmir. Morgoth, the Grace Given, Veiled Monarch and Lord of Lame Dell. And Renala, Queen of the Full Moon, ruler of Rhea Lucaria's Academy. You'll still be after more great runes, won't you? So, Godric the Grafted, Lord of Stormvale. Despite being the blood of Godfrey, first Elden Lord, he's a grotesque old fool grasping for power. His castle lies upon the cliff to Limgrave's northwest, but I suspect you know that well enough already. General Radan, the famed Red Lion and Scourge of the Stars, is a ferocious warrior. He fought Melania and her rot to a standstill in the Caelid Wilds to Limgrave's east. And now Caelid has been engulfed by the Scarlet Rot. Even approaching the region is no mean feat. I've heard survivors of Radan's army are still in the wilds, staving off the rot with fire. And if it's true, I suspect Radan is still there as well, in Kaelid. Though, I doubt he much resembles his former self anymore. Praetor Rikard is the lord of the Volcano Manor on Mount Gelmir. He is a ruthless justicia who commands a company of inquisitors, reviled for his serpentine demeanor. The volcano, Mount Gelmir, lies in the west of the Altus Plateau the realm of the Erd Tree. It was the stage of the most appalling battle in the entirety of the Shattering. Rykard has committed the grave sin of blasphemy, marking himself as an enemy never to be forgiven. Morgoth the Grace given is Lord of Landell, the capital city. It lies at the foot of the Erd Tree, in the east of the Altus Plateau. But the Two Fingers forbid us from venturing there, until we've acquired enough great runes to repair the Elden Ring. Set your sights elsewhere for the time being. The Veiled Monarch can wait. The Academy of Rhea Lucaria lies to Limgrave's north, towering over the mist-laden lands of Liernia. Renala is queen of the Carian royals, who govern the Academy. But Renala herself is no demigod. Her beloved Radagon left her to become Queen Marika's second husband, taking the title of King Consort. The Great Rune dwells within the Amber Egg that was Radagon's gift to her. Let's go to our map. We're going to come over to the Rampart Tower. I'll see everybody over there. Let's turn on our lantern. We're going to turn around here. And then right here, we're going to take this elevator down.
head over to this room with the two dogs and the troll that is hanging upside down. Right here we pick up the Crimson Hood. This is Roderica's Crimson Hood. I suspect she came back here to mourn the death of her companions. Let's head back into our map. We're going to come down to the stranded graveyard. I'll see everybody over there. Let's come over here to the gargoyle statues and put in some stone sword keys. Gotta have at least two to open this fog wall. We'll turn on our lantern. We want to run and jump. This is going to be the hardest part of this section besides the crucible knight we killed earlier. Be a chariot coming down here in just a moment. We're coming over here, not down. Grab some poison bone darts. Can we make it? Yes, we can. Come down to the next alcove. Take this guy out. As soon as this comes down and turns around to go back up, we're going to hop down just here. There we go. Run straight down. Do not stop. There's an item right there. We're not going to pick it up. We're going to hop down here. A couple gargoyles to deal with. You look down this way, you can see you can drop down. We're not going to drop down there. It's just another way around the chariot. Pull our bow out real quick. Hit the pillar down so that we don't have to deal with the fire. Two hand our Bloodhound's Fang down at the back of this corridor. We have a gargoyle. But right here behind us, we have another gargoyle. That snuck up behind us. Grab the lightning grease. Grab our bow out. Just up there is a grafted scion we're going to lure down.
That was really stupid of me not to switch out the blood grease again. That's twice in a row I've done that. We're going to come over here and get a talisman. Actually, a really good talisman. We're going to have another grafted scion. Put on some more blood grease. Get him to come over here. We can use this lip to our advantage here. Maybe. Come on, bud. They're very obnoxious in my opinion. I absolutely hate the grafted scions. Never been good at really fighting them. Which you don't have to fight these guys. You can run by them, grab the talisman, and then run away. Oh my goodness, I pretty much used all my crimson flasks there. We're going to backtrack just a bit. Hop down. And then we'll hop down again. We'll have an elevator to take up. Right there we see an item. Don't worry about that just yet. Now we can pick up this stone sword key. We're going to pull out our bow. Over here the chariot's going to move and it's going to start going down this way. Maybe. Or it's going to get stuck. Okay, sorry about that. I had to do a cut. It was glitching out and I had to backtrack and get it to fix itself. <laughs> I apologize. So what we want to do is wait till this chariot gets right here and the camera will shake and we want to shoot an arrow at one of these pots up here. So you see how the screen shakes. We're going to wait until the first moment it shakes shoot an arrow and then the pot will fall down and take the chariot out we get the Erd tree great bow along with some great arrows we can hop down
Here's the item I was telling everybody about earlier, not to worry about grabbing. We have two places we can go. We can go to the left, that goes down, or we can go to the right, which goes up. We want to go up first, and then we'll turn around and come down. Careful, you got some arbalist here. Take them out. Down across the way, we have another Banished Knight. If we run, get a jumping R2, then L2, and then R2. We can take them out. Get the Dragon Communion Seal. Along with some dragon wound grease. Put the dragon communion seal on. And then we'll backtrack all the way to the bottom. gonna have some enemies right here take them out really quick over here is the spot I was talking about earlier you could drop down have a shortcut past the chariot but we don't have to worry about the chariot anymore took care of it Let's go ahead and change out our talisman to the Erd Tree's favor. We're going to drink the flask, put on some blood grease, drink the crimson, or not crimson, cerulean, sorry, and then go through the fog door. Summon in Banish Knight Ingville as soon as you can. There we go, got rid of the tree spirit. We get another golden seed along with Banish Knight Oleg, the MVP of the spirit summons. Besides one other one, and I'm not gonna spoil that just yet, but when we get to it, you'll know. Let's go ahead and head back over to the Godric the Grafted Grace. I'll see everybody over there. All right, everyone. I want to tell you all first and foremost, thank you so very much for stopping by and watching the video. If you enjoyed it, please hit the thumbs up button. 
If you didn't, hit the thumbs down button. Let me know why down in the comments below. Also, if you enjoy content just like this, be sure to subscribe or don't. I don't know. I'm not your dad. Do whatever you want. And like always, everybody, have a good morning, a good afternoon, or a good night, or whatever time it may be in your part of the world. Mr. John Wayne, signing off.